This is Steve. He's one of hundreds of temporary employees. These temps, as they're sometimes referred to, can be nomadic in nature. But Steve, breaking with temp tradition, has been here over a year. I've worked here for um, about a year. My main responsibilities, for the most part, I answer the phones here for the office. Sometimes I have to print things and um, I have to go to the printer um, after I've printed off a paper and it's not coming and it, it's because I haven't pushed print. So then I have to walk all the way back and push print again for the first time. Sometimes the elevator will open and there'll be people that come into the office and they're, um, they're on the wrong floor. They ask me where they need to go and um, you should figure it out on your own. Many temps have had difficult hours of training, but Steve's outside life has helped him prepare. Yeah, I've I've had uh, experience answering the phone, not like for a job, but you know, people call me on my phone, and um, I can answer it there. So it's it's not much different. I guess I've been training like 20 years for this job. It appears that temps work and seem to mix with others. However, upon further study we've learned they prefer to spend time by themselves. I, I don't really socialize much at work. Um, not many people talk to me, but it's okay. One of the many stresses of the job is the constant hours staring at a monitor. From time to time, he may check email or surf the web, but mostly he stares. Notice the redness in the eyes, the vacant look, and the paleness of the skin as if he's never seen sunlight. Steve doesn't show much emotion, but he does enjoy lunch, 30, sometimes 45 minutes. More if nobody notices uh, that I'm gone, and for the most part, they don't. There's no way of knowing how long Steve will continue at his current job. Once he leaves here, we may never be able to locate him again. I've got an email address. Are we done?